you guys, Vico here. Uh, I haven't done World of Warships in a long time. Uh, not since my last Albany video, and that's what I am showcasing today. Um, the last time, my short Albany video was kind of a like a don't get it kind of thing. I mean, I, I realized it was a you know, free ship. All you had to do was type in the code, and then I started thinking after playing it a few times, revisiting it uh, a while later. It's not that bad a ship. I mean, the rain, the the firing range is is horrible. The armor's, yeah, it's okay. But I've had a few matches in the Albany where I, I didn't do so bad and came out on top in damage, and uh, sometimes with uh, full health. And it could have been blind luck, or it could have been. Uh, the other team was that bad, but I'm gonna try to do a random battle to showcase how, how good this is, uh, depending on the setup, of course. I think it all boils down to the last time I played the Albany on the channel, I, I think it boils down really to skill. Uh, I was playing with no skill, so I'm gonna give it a go this time in a random battle and see how the Albany fares against some of the newer ships that have been introdu introduced to the game. So the matchup here isn't too bad. Uh, a little battleship heavy, and given the range of, of the Albany, it's really what it boils down to is, is playing this like a, a discount Atlanta, almost. The range is abysmal, just like the Atlantas. Uh, the armor is pretty crappy, uh, unless you're angled. So, my attempt here, and this is just my first random battle, uh, and I haven't played World of Warships in quite some time, I am going to attempt to play this just a little better. Now, I do have AP loaded, because I don't expect to see destroyers first, but you know what, I'm going to change it around just in case of that, that pass there. Now, the reason I haven't done any World of Warships videos in quite some time, unless you're creating a video and showcasing the fun parts of the game, it's quite boring. I mean, Jingles does a good job of, of showcasing the good games or the really, really bad games, the, the watchable battles. Flight Daily has been... he's done okay, I guess, with his, and I, and I, and I love the guy, but I just I can't watch random battles all the time. I'd rather play. So... Don't expect from me to see too many, given the nature of my horrible non-gaming computer, as well as my uh, lack of skill. <laughs> so the Chikuma was out there, but I... Eh. And one thing Fly Daily does, I mean, he's exceptional at this game, but there's not a lot of dialogue, and I would prefer it over um, non-dialogue. He's going to dodge those torpedoes. So I'm going to try to stay close to the fleet here. And hopefully no torpedoes come through this pass here, because I'm quite slow. So if I stay with these two cruisers here, I might fare well. I was hoping for more of a... And I know what you're going to be thinking when I say this, but hopefully hoping for more of a Tier 2 heavy and a Tier... Uh, Tier 3 heavy, or Tier 1 heavy, I'm sorry. The, keep in mind, stock computer, so yeah, you're gonna hear this dog barking, it's my neighbor's dog. So I'm confident that the thumbs down for this video are going to be a little higher than normal. Can't say I blame you, friends, and uh, that is that is what it is. Now I'm confident that now is the time for me to turn around, but I would just face the wrath of not only guns, but torpedoes, so I'm going to stay forward and push. Uh, push C. And just like with the Atlanta, the, the range on this is awful. You really got to get in close, and I haven't been able to take one shot yet, thus doing nothing to my team, but it's way better than that battleship that's, that's South Carolina that's way out there. And if I was paying attention, good thing I have an HE loaded. Let's see what happens. Should I go sideways on? That would probably be a mistake. And I can't tell the speed. And torpedoes are going to be 
launched any minute, so I'm gonna focus on this Wix here. Try to take him out before I even try to focus on that Dresden. Oh, I got one hit. As long as I stay angled, and I know he's gonna launch torpedoes at me unless he's... Uh, Alright, Dresden time. So I'm changing the armor piercing, changing my angle. I can't tell who he's shooting at, but it ain't me. So, let's see what happens. I can't get all my guns to bear, but I'm trying to change the direction of travel in order to not get taken down by any potential torpedoes that are coming in. So I'm going to bring all my guns to bear. Let's see what I can get done. Uh, South Carolina scares me, so what I'm going to do is turn... Turn away. Sure, I'm sideways on, but I don't want to risk getting one shot to buy that South Carolina. So that Wix is going to have to play the game alone. That Samson I'm not too concerned about right now. Uh, he's out of range. Too bad for me, right? What I can do is take a couple cheeky shots. Now South Carolina is way out of my range. And then Dresden. I'm going to circle around. See if I can't just hold this and, and cover that Wix. I think, really, that I'm pretty much useless here. I'm in a slow ship. Not doing too good here. And Kawachi, he could do some good to get involved a little closer, but he's, I think he's faster than I am, to be honest. And I don't anticipate at all that I'm going to be able to cap this alone. As soon as that smoke screen clears, They'll see me and try to take me down, and then I don't remember. And I think that battleship is, is obscured by the smoke screen, so I'm gonna switch to HE for now in case he comes up. Try to drift into the cab and see if I can't get their attention. I do not think we're faring well. So I'm gonna drift in and try to get some spots. I'm in his range, definitely not, he's not in more, he is now, but let's see what we can do against the Dresden if I keep my ship angled. Switch into AP, because he is more sideways on, angled, yeah, not bad. I'll take less damage angled than I would, so I'm just going to go try to do a hero run on this guy who's way better than me, and I bet you that South Carolina's gonna one-shot me. Or two. But if I can close the distance on this guy, stay angled, I might be able to... No, I, I'm alone out here. This is definitely gonna be it for me. But if he keeps going sideways on, my, maybe I'll get a Citadel penetration, I'm not sure. But there's another, who is that? Yep, here it is. Yeah, I apologize. This definitely is not worth the showcase. And the Citadel penetration for me? Maybe I can get a kill out of this. Yeah. Ship is on fire. It's the Albany. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> yeah. I'm done for. But I'm staying angled, and that, that does make the difference between sideways on. Yeah. I am a goner for sure. Yep. Oh boy. So, it does show that, um... I'm surprised it was a... Oh, okay, yeah, alright, so... You really have to avoid going sideways on as opposed to facing front and slightly angling your ship. I am going to give the Albany another go and see how this goes. Uh, maybe it is utter crap. I should have uh, posted some of my good games in it. Okay guys, um, I was hoping for something better, but I think that this is almost almost an identical setup uh, thanks to the matchmaker than it was before
but at least I can showcase that if you angle like my ship is here, instead of shooting at other ships this way, if you angle and then only bring out the angle when you need to, the damage you take will be less. So what I'm going to try to do is load AG and see what the destroyers are doing first. Uh, yeah, you could tell by the way I play and, and based off of my garage or my port that I play this a lot less than I have lately with World of Tanks Blitz. I have been doing great with Blitz. Uh, with the last publish, it came out with the IS-3 Defender. I did very well with that and earned the Defender on XP alone, um, which is good. And the next patch coming out, we'll see a new map and some other tweaks, and I'm really looking forward to that. What I'm trying to concentrate on in Blitz right now is my average tier um, hopefully bringing it to six and keeping it um, at least above 5.5 my average tier and right now it's 5.33 um, with the blueberry stats I have I'm really hoping to bring some purple into that within the next month um, I've been playing just a couple hours every other night so work has been quite demanding so no videos lately as you can tell and uh, I made a promise to some friends that I would do a warships video so here it is but my next will definitely be a blitz video highlighting the next patch uh, not so much patch notes but changes that I've noticed especially on the new map if I can get it in the rotation I'm looking forward to the training rooms that'll be enjoyable overshot maybe maybe not yeah, that was good. <laughs> uh, torpedoes are definitely in the water now, so up oh, there they are. And as slow as I am, we shall see how I do torpedoes to start. against this. Yeah. Torpedoes to you should start. always try to focus on when you know there's destroyers around. Turning, turning, especially the Japanese ones with great range. See, like those, those torpedoes there. I can get probably another salvo off here. Nope, no undershot, but that's fine. What I'm gonna do, and that Dursky's torpedo range is quite awful, but I still have HE loaded. He's out of range, but I want to try to have a go at the Dursky first and keep maybe cover this South Carolina, because I know when he comes around the peak, he's going to launch instantly. The Dursky's torpedo range is only, I forget, was it 3.3 kilometers? And I know his guns will keep me busy, so I'm having a huge problem timing the shots. And that wasn't so bad. I mean, as, as fast as they travel, these destroyers, not doing so good and he's about to be in range and I don't know if he'll want to torp me or the South Carolina. He'd be smart for the South Carolina. If I can keep my guns on target. Torpedo, okay. dead ahead. Right, he's ran himself aground. So now all I gotta do is just close the distance and focus on him. The Albany's not so bad when you have friends. That. I need to turn again just in case he got some more off. I didn't see splashes in the water, but you never know. A couple pointers I wouldn't mind from any of you watching is with the Albany being the tier it is against other cruisers. Now I'm not talking about the St. Louis, just other average cruisers. What do you think about AP? If they're sideways on, I don't see the problem. But I mean, the guns in the Albany are quite small. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try AG and see if I can get fires. Now this Rosevoy, I don't know what his intent is here, but as boring as this is, we're only down one ship, and if we can get points at least, we'll win, but I find this extremely difficult. I mean, you could even tell in the last game that I didn't even pay attention. I don't even know why we lost. I didn't pay attention, but compared to Blitz, I'm 
useless at this game. <laughs> Nobody's told me to uninstall though, so I got something going on. I don't know what to focus on, but that Starozovoy might be a problem. I don't pay attention to where he is. I'm outside of his torpedo range, but his guns are beautiful. Uh, this might be a mistake trying to do this, but I'm gonna try. Took a good, good hit there. He's gonna start waggling, maybe. Yep. Let's see what happens. Nothing. I'd really like to get him out of the game. And okay, good. I'll try my damnedest to cover this South Carolina, but I'm pretty confident it's a futile, futile effort. I mean, I'll be able to do some fires, and I'm out. So I'm going to turn tail and get out of here. <laughs> yeah. I think it's just I think it's just me. I think it's skill. I lack it. So as long as I can turn tail and get out of here, that'll ship. See, now that I'm angled, at least when his shells come in, maybe some bounces. I don't, didn't see if any bounced. But stay angled as is. Just stay angled. At least I'll be able to rack up some points. There we go. Keep it angled so some bounce off the hull. Turn tail and get out. But we will likely lose this in that Dresden with his lovely damage per minute. I think any effort I give to take these guys out is futile. I'm just going to have to waggle and not run aground. <laughs> yeah. Put some iron on. I'll live. Okay. If I can catch this guy on fire, you know what, guys? This would be great. <laughs> I don't even think I have any. Do I have cover? Yes. Some. As long as I stay angled, I keep saying that, but I see other players worse than me, if you can believe that, in this game, that do not angle. I think that's what it's all about. If I can keep him on fire. At least have the credit for that, and I think the Dresden is the time to focus. At least he doesn't have torpedoes. They don't get torpedoes by tier f 4, I think. So, I guess my assumption that he, uh, HE might be better, but now that he's sideways on, but then again, so am I. Ooh. Yeah, it's not looking good, friends. Maybe I should focus back on the battleship, but I apparently am just doing everything wrong here. Running the ground. The ship is on fire. Yep, I think I'm done, guys. Whatever. Solved, it's my own fault for playing the way I play. Uh, and I'm not the type really to blame the rest of the team. I mean, I was the only one out here for a minute, so. What are you gonna do? If he was smart, he'd get out of my range and then just snipe me from the back. We'll see. I'm going to focus more so on this uh, South Carolina. Is he? No, he's out of my range. He is out of my range. Yep. It's time for me to turn tail and run away. <laughs> we will lose eventually. And I'm, I don't think that I'm being pessimistic about this. It's just they got smart, got out of my range. They're going to cat by points. And I think that's that. So. Maybe I can go after this destroyer and contribute just a little extra. Because I'm confident that... I don't know why they're shooting at me. Oh, oh. Unless he's trying to get his guns to bear when that happens, so I'm going to stay angled and hopefully there's no torpedoes coming my way. Yep. There will be soon. Very soon. Hopefully, I do a little bit more damage. I don't run into people, you can tell I'm not paying attention. I should apologize to my team. Alright, don't go sideways onto the battleship. Alright, well that's that. Maybe I should just focus on the battleship. If we win this, I'll be very happy. But then again, if you win it, wouldn't you be happy anyways? So, at least this game is a little better, showing that the Albany can contribute. 
this other South Carolina on full health I need to avoid at all costs. And he is not my range. See, this is where the range really, really kills you with the Albany. Like I said, discount Atlanta. It's like when I play the Ubari, I try to start with the Ubari, and I usually say discount, uh, discount Cleveland at your service, and then I follow around the battleship that I would think doesn't have the best anti-aircraft capability. <laughs> Where is that Dresden area? That worries me. If I can keep the fires going, I might be able to... Oh, there he is. Hey, guy. I'm going to turn tail and run and watch me go sideways on and take a nasty hit. But at least my guns are to bear for the time being. I think I'm going to turn tail, bring them in closer, we control the caps, why try to take him down? So, and I'm on fire and I've already repaired. Is he firing BG at me? Is that what this is about? Can't steer. I think I'm out of it. I think I'm out. Like I said, I'll contribute as much as I can and see the post-game stats and see how I did. At least I'm not in a second he stopped. He's not moving. Well, he is, but... Yeah, I'm done. And I'm not hitting that thing either. Oh, shoot, on me. Am I sideways onto his shots? Yes. If I can take him down... Oh, there it is. Alright, I would like to see how this ends. So I'm going to follow the game. Now, you realize if you hit Control shift backspace control the camera. So I'm going to see it from these guys to South Carolina's point of view. I've got two kills out of this and, and I mean I haven't played in a month. <laughs> so not bad for a scrub like me. They are leading on points and I think it's my fault but if we can take that South Carolina down that would be good. That South Carolina on our team, the, the Wakataki, I mean, with his torps, he should focus more so on this guy, I think. So, that Dresden, he did a great job. There we go on points, we're leading now, which is good. <laughs> I really hope that Wakataki, what is he doing? I'd like to see him... Yes, all right, he's doing right. I wanted to see him come around to the other side of the uh, this little formation, this land formation here, and come around to, to the left, avoid that Dresden at all costs, and go after the South Carolina who is hiding there, and I know that he's going to pop up. Oh, hey, there they go. That's those are gonna miss. Come on, man. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I've said it before in other videos. I do so much better with destroyers. And I, I, sorry. I really wanted to focus on this Albany. I've had some great games in it. I don't know. Today's just not my day. But I think that I might have helped contribute somewhat. Who knows, maybe without me and, and the pros would be able to tell me better if, if my contribution would lead to victory or not. But we are leading on points, so as long as our South Carolina doesn't make any foolish mistakes. Who's down at the other end? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. We'll cap by points as long as our, our battleship that's down in A stays alive. I'd really like to see that other battleship get spotted. Where did he go? I'm going to bring it da back down to a, a view that works. This is where I got sunk. So, all right, what are you doing? The Wakataki really needs to get in close. I think the range on those is seven kilometers for those. Uh... Oh, don't go sideways on, dude. Close the gap. His guns aren't even to bear. Oh. 
I don't know if he's trying to go through this pass and try to flank over to the right, but going sideways on like that is a mistake. But they're gonna, then again, look who's talking. That Dresden, his DPM is beautiful. He's gonna take him down with fires and those torpedoes. I don't... I hope they hit. <laughs> okay. I'd like to see these hit. I'd like to see this win with more than just winning on points, but he saw them ahead of time. Maybe one. Yep. Nothing. Uh, yeah, I think he led that fr uh, that first spread just a little too much. That Dresden, he, he definitely carried his team. Kept me at bay from what little work I could do on a South Carolina. So this is why I don't do World of Warships videos so much anymore. I mean, I can talk all day and give a, 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 a novice color commentary, but it's the gameplay is so slow. 20 minutes of, of moving around, and, and it takes minutes to set up the battle before it gets fun, unless there's just some... Oh, there you go. Next, second one, come on. There we go. Nice. Yes. That was good. Yes, very good. I don't want to call this video YouTube worthy for like something, a big highlight, but if you have the Albany and you haven't sold it, I'm, I'm officially saying uh, don't. Uh, give it a try if you want to be at tier 2 or you can just be like a good player and stay at the high tiers. Um, I don't anticipate anytime soon uh, that I'm going to get up to the high tiers. I just, with my family, my job, and things going on around the house, I can't really sit at the computer all day and, and really make a career out of this like I can with Blitz. Uh, I've done very well with Blitz and successful in the game. I think I just need to push more content and I think people will watch it. I appreciate all the viewers. I appreciate everything. If I can get enough subscribers, I'll do a giveaway. Um, but I do this for fun, and I'm not trying to make a living off of it. And I think now is the time to give it a good game. Not bad. Winning on points. This South Carolina and that Dresden did excellent, so I I hope that in their in their team chat that they weren't just spamming hate back and forth. That this was a good game, a nice average good game where almost everybody died. Um, I can't complain. Oh, hello. Can't complain about this game. I died, but to my own mistakes. <laughs> it wasn't my team's fault, even though both teams. Wow. I wouldn't call this a one-sided game. This was a pretty good game. There we go, and that's it. How did we do? Uh, of course my stock computer is going to freeze. There we go. So, actually, I mean, given that, yes, it is a premium, so not bad on credits. The experience is good. I'm keeping my original Albany video up um, just to make fun of myself, but you know what? I like it. I uh, recant everything I've said about it. And I think, like I said before, that really, really just goes down to skill that I apparently did not have. 6,000 damage and fire is not bad. Not bad. Two, two kills, but I, I worked over that, that awesome South Carolina. And uh, the Dresden, wow. Great game. So to, if any of you on the team list are playing or watching, Great game, guys. Great game. So, until next time, guys, stay safe out there. Do what you're doing, whatever game you're playing. I hope you have fun. More Blitz content to come, and definitely more Weekend Warrior Chronicles to come. Uh, no joke, those are based off of real experience that I've had uh, throughout my career in the Army. <laughs> so, until next time, I'll see you out there.